you love that dog or what? No. I caught you. I was getting on to him. You were not. Kissing him, scratching him. <laughs> you don't believe him, do you, Finley? Nope. Oh, hello, engines. Our transmission from Gearstar just arrived. This is so cool. The box alone is like angel singing. All right, let's get this thing unloaded. It's time to strip this bad boy. This is the 98 model 5 liter that came out of an Explorer that Aaron went and picked up, transported home in the back of the Bronco. I'm unaware of how many miles it has on it, Aaron probably knows. I doubt that it's super low. I bet it's got a lot of miles on it. I'm gonna take all of this old fuel injection off. We do not plan to reuse it. We are going to get rid of it. We haven't quite decided what we're gonna do about a fuel system quite yet. All we know is we don't want any of this. <laughs> So let's get started stripping this thing down. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> here one bolt two bolt three bolt four bolt and doesn't look like it bolts up anywhere on this end okay bro let go am I not being aggressive enough it really seems like there's another bolt in it somewhere I just do not see one unless I take this plate off and there's one underneath. Like, is it actually removable? <sighs> they were underneath the freaking plate. No wonder it wouldn't come off. Did you see how loose that was? Oh my gosh, you guys, let me tell you how freaking happy I am that I did not mess with this for two hours and then Aaron come home and be like, take that plate off, there's two more bolts. That's exactly like what would happen. Golly, that was freaking crazy. <laughs> now that we're over that hurdle, let's keep going. <laughs> oh man, too funny. Our parts table is getting full and our engine's getting naked. Awesome. It's a little more gusty in there than I expected yeah. it to be for 100,000 miles. Or it's only supposed to have 100K? That's what I remember. But it's a Ford, so I mean like 100K on a Ford is like... 300 on a Chevy. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, babe. Good morning. <laughs> okay, the sun is coming up and it's time to drop this oil pan. I just dropped the pan and realized that the camera wasn't rolling. So, you missed that part. My bad. <laughs> Dang it, Finley, why didn't you push record? We are about to pull off all the accessories off of Betty's old engine. Right, kid? Hi, yes. Finally here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. It's rolling. Nice. Okay. Good thing I have the gloves on. Okay. Let's now pop what? these belts off to start. This. Yes. And this right here, because that'll tension. That. That'll loosen the belt, where we can get it off. Okay. So can I zoom? Zoom, dude. That's out. That's really out. Nice job. Perfect. Now, how do I get pulled out? <laughs> that was funny. 
we'll loosen this, pull this up, and we'll swing this down, and then our belt will come off. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hey, I think you can pull it up my hand now. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna go pack up the car now. Okay. I'm going camping. She's going camping, so we only have a certain amount of time to find All right. people. <laughs> She's just such a busy kid. I know. First, Dang. first stack six cars, then I have to go camping. And in that such order. Such a demanding life. Let's pull the power steering pump off. This is? Yep. Can we call it a thing in the We can. Can I call it a thing in the As long as you know what it actually is. Yes. Okay, that's all. Oh, we're gonna paint that. Please say yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Especially when it's hard. We started this whole dang YouTube channel, you and me, painting Roxy's engine. Yeah, we did. Remember? Okay. You were sitting on top of it? We have a video of it. I do have a video of it. You were a little bitty. Uh huh. And now I'm seven. I'm gonna have a birthday soon. Belt's off. Exactly. I'm weird but effective. You're okay. weird but awesome. Thanks. I'm oh, bad. Hey, will you grab me some PB Blaster? PB Blaster? Please. P. P. Blaster. <laughs> How like P. 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 You trip and fall in space, Clint. Little goes along with PB Blaster. <laughs> That's how it be there. I did not tell her to do this. No point I. She's great, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. I drained all the water out, so it's just gonna have to spill out. We'll clean it up. Oh no! It's not happening to me this time. Let's take this crank fully off. The whole entire thing? Yeah. Will that make it leak? I don't think so. Thank you for all your help, dude. Yeah. That was a horrible throw. Give me one more time. Got it. Perfect. Love you. Love you. Peace. Peace. Riding solo again, y'all. Right, oh, that was almost my toe. <laughs> Okay, plan right now is <laughs> I'm gonna drain this pan and pull the front cover off and this thing will be mostly stripped of what we're gonna reuse. Kind of do some movements and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Hello. We're matching. Yeah. Flying Sparks Garage. That's right. That's a thing. So we pulled the spark plugs out and we found one that the electrode was completely gone on. And then we pulled the valve covers off. And it's kind of grungy in there and it's grungy in here. And I also noticed that there was a brand new water pump on it. What we want to do is go ahead and just pull these heads off, get a look at the head gasket, replace them. We're going to look at the cylinders. If everything looks fine there, we're going to leave that together because I really don't want to put rings in it. <laughs> kind of have my tool. They're on there, man. Babe, it's too pretty outside. I want to go to the beach. Maybe we should. And we did. Go watch the episode of Torque Crunches and Tailwinds. <laughs> These are heavier than LS heads. <laughs> well, they're cast iron. <laughs> How'd your head gasket look on your side? Uh, yeah, I haven't really looked yet. This piston, uh... <laughs> the problem? <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so that's the one that had the uh, screwed up spark plug. Boy, oh boy, I'm glad we pulled that off. Oh boy. And you can see here, we've got some issues. And let's just hope that that cylinder's not so bad that we have to upsize the block. That would be a bummer. I didn't really budget for an engine overhaul, so I'm hoping that I can just hone this cylinder out, put one brand new piston in it, and then keep going. Down, going. Right there. Oh, that cylinder's screwed. I, I can feel it with my fingertip. And when I get my fingernails, fingernails. Oh, I hear that. 
Yeah, catching. It catches my fingernail, which means it's way too deep to be honed out. Well, Jack. It, Jack. It's, it's that old thing of do we overhaul this engine or just go ahead and rebuild the one that was already in it? We have officially turned into Ford 302 collectors because we now have three. <laughs> this is our third Ford motor. It came out of a Fox body, uh, 100,000 miles or so, so everything stock and well maintained, but nothing fancy. It's just a good basic stock platform. We're going to put a stock cam in it. We're not even going to go choppy cam. We also found out that in addition to our junkyard block, being toast. One of our heads was cracked. We only spent like 400 bucks on that engine. And we thought, you know, it's okay because we got the GT40 heads on it. Well, they were toast. So we have nothing but a pile of parts. <laughs> Thankfully, we have our friend James, who you guys have seen in lots of past episodes. He had a set of heads that he brought over to us. And were they the actual heads off of this motor yeah. originally? Yeah, they were. Yeah. He, the, the gentleman that owned this engine actually gave them to James. And James ended up using a GT40 head instead. So we had them waiting around. It's an off-road vehicle. It doesn't really need a lot of power. As long as it's got a little bit of torque to climb the hills, even if it doesn't, we can take care of that with gearing. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be awesome. As much as I'd love to see this engine go together and plop it back in the Bronco, we've had to roll her out into the yard to start on Garfield the C20 because we're taking that rig on hot rod power tour this year. We're doing airbags, cold AC, basic bolt-ons on the 350, and a bunch of awesome interior pieces that are going to make it feel new again. For now, Betty will wait. Be sure to stay tuned though. We have so many builds going on. The F100 with the coyote swap, the C10 that Vague Industries did a turbo LS swap on in our shop. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel, so stay tuned. It's just a little difficult to manage all the editing and working and also working a job on top of all that. So thank you guys for your patience and we'll see you soon.